In another video, I demonstrate how to create a globe country locator map like this one. So now I'll just show you a little tip for creating a curved label that follows the curvature of the Earth. The link to the previous video is in the description. If I turn off the country's copy layer, we can see there's a box in this layer, there's a country and there's a label. So let's double click the layer itself and we can see that the symbology is we've got a simple fill for the country colour, we've got a geometry generator box here to create the white box and that works pretty well. There's also in the simple fill section for the geometry generator I've used draw effects to add a drop shadow to the white box. If I go to labels we have size 36 font, formatting, I've got some spacing between the letters, I've got a little buffer on, I've got a shadow, but the important thing here is placement. So here are my settings. The most important one is that I'm using geometry generator to determine the positioning of the label. Now what's going on here is that I am using a function called make line to create a line between 86 degrees and 150 degrees east and the minus 22 is the latitude. So there's a, a line being made between these points and then I've used the densify by count function to make sure that line's curved. So that's the expression and if you want the label to be positioned somewhere else you can just change these coordinates. That's a simple way to do it. I've also got it on curved mode so the line's curved. So if you want to have this for somewhere else on the earth you can copy this expression and then you just paste it and change the coordinates to your liking. Only thing to say is sometimes with this, if you zoom in too far, the label could disappear. So you might have to change the font size. Anyway, if you want to do this experiment, see how you get on and hopefully it'll be a useful trick for you.